Hey guys, what if here, and welcome back to the NAS Creed 5 2021 mod championship mode for East 10 to 10. The finale, going to Homestead. I'm a little worried. I'm a little worried, because the point standings, we only have one point over Hamlin. And he gained a shit ton at Darlington. We were able to get a top five, which is okay. Harvick choked in a, a galactic way, so he's basically out. For the most part. I mean, really, it's, it's probably realistically between me and Denny. Uh, Brad kind of has a shot. He's uh, 31 back. But it's basically going to be, be between me and Denny. So we'll see if Denny has a you know galactic choke of some kind. We're going to go with our uh, York Tell car. And also, we're going to show you the settings here before we jump right into it. Enable that. But everything else will be the same as usual. Just making sure this is all good. And it is. So. Yeah, um, I don't know, I guess we'll just jump straight into it, pray, <laughs> that's all we can do. Hopefully Denny just doesn't start on pole and nominates the race. We need him to not be first, essentially. So here we go, it's, it's the, it's the finale. I'm, I'm a little, I'm just, I don't know, I don't know. So our slider's at a four, my face is really red and I don't know why. Let me try to fix that here. I set this up before I started recording. Oh, hello, OBS. Uh, let's see. What is this? Why, why does my face look so... There we go. Gray and pasty. That's that's the way I like my face. Okay, so. We'll get everything else situated here. We'll be starting last like usual. 38th. We're on the outside. Hamlet's not first. Don't tell me he's going to start in the... Oh, no. No, he's not in the back. He's like 10th or 9th. That's good. Okay, that's that's what we need. All right, we need that. So here we go. Here. So with this race, we're really not going to have to worry about pitting. Uh, stage 1 should be 9 laps, then the second one will be 10, then the last one will be 12. So really our goal is just to go balls out. G try to gain as much time as possible and go from there. That's really our best strategy. At least for passing these slower cars, just kind of stay way out of their line. And duck down low when I feel like is needed. There we go. We're just kind of bobbing and weaving through the field. Keeping an eye on Hamlin. He's trying to pass Tyler Reddick up on the high side, so... I mean, I guess that's good for us. Also, we're going to just... Okay, that's a wall. But I was going to try to go four wide, but the... Uh, the AI didn't really want me to do that. Oh god, that's not what I want. I don't want to get held up by anyone. I can't afford to. Okay. Alright. Got through that. That was a little bit of a minefield, but we got through it. But yeah, Hamlin is choking big time. He is not anywhere in that top ten, I don't think. He is maybe just outside the top ten. So we can we can get up there. I mean, we might not be able to lose too much points here. We gotta still go all out and try to get some kind of points. At least put ourselves in good position for stage two to get some juicy points, because that's really gonna be a factor. Also, while I'm here, when this uh, like when the stages and like the stage points, playoff points, and all that stuff was you know existed in 2017, I thought like all the the playoff points and stage wins would carry over to the final race. I always thought that. It's not the case, but I always thought that would have been nice to have because it's still essentially the, the dumb 2014 to 16 uh, format where it's just the points reset in a, in a winner take all nonsense thing, and it's stupid. I don't know. I thought that if they carried the, the, the points over and stuff, that would have made it slightly better. Like it would make the whole season matter instead of just. I don't know. But hey, we're 15th. We're going to get by Joey Logano here, and we can confirm Hamlin is running about 11th. So, I would like to try to get 10th, or at least I hope he doesn't get 10th, because then we'll be tied for the you know, point lead. We still got to worry about Brad, which I have no idea where he's running at. I think he's just inside the top 10, so we're good in that regard. Harvick, you know, he can do whatever he wants. He's just way too far back to really gain all those points. But, yeah, um, 
I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see how it shakes up or who gets close enough to us in the points. But for now, I mean, we're, we're doing okay. I, I would love to get, like, in the points, but I don't know if that's going to be the case. Yeah, we're, we're closing down Hamlin. We're doing what we need to do. Hamlin's doing a little, little weird Still zigzag there. there. Interesting tactic. But we'll get by him. All as right, well as Amarola, Austin Dillon, who actually started on pole, so I'm surprised he's dropped back as far as he has. And me kind of passing those people is going to kind of give Hamlin those, the ability to gain those spots. Last lap of stage one, and Chris Buescher is leading. Uh, not anymore, but he was up there. Yeah, it's, it's interesting going on right now. And also, we're, we're within stage point territory, so that's going to be Our one point if we can line. hold off Kyle Busch. Now we'll put our point lead to two over Denny Hamlin, which is huge. Because I don't know what... The, the last stage is going to be stupid. Spoiler alert! They're going to take two tires and I'm going to take four. And they're going to... You know, it, it's stupid. But hey, we're going to gain a stage point here. I, I will take that. That is that is exactly what I would like. Um, Martin Trex Jr. gets the stage win. He's pretty much out of it as well. So we don't got to worry about him. We're going to pit here. Why the AI take four here, but in the last stage they take two, but but there's more laps in that, which I, I don't know. It's a shit show. And okay, we drop a spot, but we're on the inside, which is good. So, um, this stage this should be our like really good one. We should be able to try to you know we should be able to gain a lot of spots. We're gonna have a bit more a better better track position. <laughs> okay, I was gonna say better bit, but that's not. That's not right. That's not even the right English. Yeah, as we've seen, it seems like nobody really could pull away from each other. So if they're going to be that tightly knit together, then we should be able to easily get a top five in this stage. And gain even more points on Mr. Denny. Brad's like 30-something back, I and mean, he really didn't gain too much on us anyways. So I don't think that's going to be too much of a problem. Thank you, Cowboys, for the push. Brotherly love, too. Isn't that, isn't that adorable? It just it just bugs because... We, we, it, this would not be this intense if if we didn't die at Martinsville by a stupid wall glitch thing. That would that would be great. I mean, I, I would, would at least not get last. Even if I didn't get stage points, I would have not gotten last. So that bugs me. But hey, we're up to fourth. And we got the croissant car, so that's cute. But we'll get by him with the power of the draft. And try to see inside of Byron here. And yeah, we did. I'm amazed Chris Busher's up here. His car, I don't think, is on fire. Unless I'm mistaken. I mean, I could be wrong. No, he is just naturally good without the, the hot thing, so... That is very interesting. Right side's clear. Damn, William Byron's giving me a hell of a push. A and that's going to get us lap. by Busher. All clear. No pressure from and now we'll try to set our sights on Shurex, which we should be able to run him down. But it's not going to be easy. Car there on the inside. Okay. Go, All right. It's, it's going to be a battle. I, I respect it. That doesn't mean I won't like it, but I'll certainly respect it. High lane's clear. Is that Tyler Reddick back there? Yes, it is. Ooh, that's interesting. Well, you we really weren't catching Shurex. We were kind of even. Byron got that, like, magic PJ1 grip somewhere in those tires because he just drove right around me. But Hamlin is still nowhere to be found, so we are going to gain still a... a a lot of points. We're going to do something either really brilliant or really stupid. We're going to make a pass on Byron here and try to run down Shurex again. Car handles fine. Like, I don't really have any problem. We're going to slide up right in front of him, and that's going to give him the, the draft thing. So, sure, I'll take that. Thank you. And we're comfortably back in a second. Last lap is stage two, and I mean, we're right there with Shurex. I think we're slightly faster. But I don't know if we're going to have enough time. I mean, I'm not going to try to push it or anything. There's really... Uh, got to... I mean, got to be smart. 
but within like the boundary of of not being stupid. I don't know if that that's not even a word, but we're gonna go through three and four. Try not to make any contact with them. Mm, okay, okay, not side draft maybe. No, okay, it's. I, I'll take that. That's gonna put us eleven points ahead of Hamlin. Yes, it is. Oh boy, that's. He is choking. This is classic Denny Hamlin choketude. We're going to pit here. They're going to take, you know, right side tires, and we're going to go back to, like, 15th or something. So we still got to have sweat mode. And as I figured, we drop back to 15th. Hamlin in 12th, but we have so much points from those stages alone. Like, Hamlin could be... We, need a, we can pretty much chill... 12 or so, at least 10 or so spots behind Hamlin and still be fine. So we just kind of have to take it easy and not do anything stupid and just kind of you know, just Careful, get through the field there. at our own leisurely pace. Thank God Harvard choked it <laughs> at Darlington and DNF'd essentially because like he's been running pretty good. He's been in the top 10 somewhat, so that, that, that's a shame. Though so it does kind of weirdly balance out because I DNF and then Harvard DNF, so it's like weirdly perfect. But yeah, we were just kind of cutting through the field because we took four and they took two, so they're going to be a little bit slower. Not as slow, uh, not nearly as slow as you would think, all things considered, but yeah. It's just kind of sad that this issue is permeated through the heat games, like as early as heat two when they, you know, stages were implemented. It's kind of sad that that never got really, like, fixed. But thankfully, kind of with the tire wear that the AI, uh, I can't even say kind of, but with the tire wear that the AI actually do have, they are a bit slower, so it makes this work a little better for us, but it still doesn't make any sense because this stage is, or this part of the race is longer than stage two and they took four there, so you would think they would take four there here as well because, I don't know, it, I'm sure someone's going to defend that saying that that's what they would have done in real life or something. I, I, I would love, I would love for someone to say that. That's like the equivalent of saying, oh, taking two tires at Darlington is a great idea. <laughs> We're closing in on Tyler Reddick, who's having an extremely good day. William Byron leading. Well, isn't that cute? He he won here in real life, and now he's all. Oh, that's adorable. The game's no, trying no. to recreate real life. I I, I appreciate that. But we should. I mean, we're right there. We should Nobody get by back. them. Will that happen? I don't know. I'm looking behind me, and again, I don't see Hamlin anywhere. I see Harvick kind of like chilling in ninth. But yeah, Hamlin is outside the top ten. I mean, this. Whoever, you know, the modder did a very accurate job of getting the race leader accurate and having Hamlin choke in a championship race. That, I mean, that is, that's too fitting. Alrighty, four to go, three tenths back from Byron. If we can kind of cheese it and trick him to go up high in one of the corners, then we should be able to gain a, a stupid amount of time and then maybe try to go for a lead on him that way. Because if he's racing, if he's going at this kind of, uh, I mean, we're actually closing in, so, okay, maybe I shouldn't say that, but we're there. We are absolutely there. Now, the pass is going to be another issue because we're gonna, we just kind of naturally slide up the track a little bit. And I really got to be careful off turn two because the car always likes to step out. Careful, there. We're right there. Side by side with them. going to try to keep it pinned to the bomb, trying to make contact. We kind of push him off the track a little bit, but no contact was made. That good stuff. No. Mm -mm. No, you did that earlier in the race, and no, I'm not, I'm not going to let you do it this time. Okay. White flag's out. At, oh, we actually got a little bit of a straightaway run on him there. Turn one seems to be our biggest strong suit. But yeah, that, that's just... It's kind of insane how good their car still is, even on two tires. That's just absolutely insane to me. But we're doing good. <laughs> we're doing good. We don't need to win it, but I want to dance one more time. So I really really want to win. We're going to park the bus in 3 and 4 a little bit. And just kind of let him... Oh, God. It... I, I want to give him a shot. I want to give him a shot. Alright, it's been a little bit since I did one of these burnouts, but 
We'll do it. Shouldn't have done it from that angle. That was kind of that was kind of bad. Not gonna lie, it was kind of bad. Should have done it to the left, but I didn't. But it's okay. Finishing results. Obviously, we got the win. Byron put up a good fight. I'll, I'll definitely admit that. We almost kind of lost it there, but whether we won or not wouldn't have mattered too much. But my ego sake would have liked it. Uh, but Hamlin is, oh my good God, 15th. Absolutely just choked this title away. At, like, like the AI stats, like on the race now thing, like he's like the second fastest. And Harvick is, is apparently ranked number one. So I'm surprised they ran as like far back as they did. Um, Chris Buescher got seven. I, I don't even know. But we did it by, oh my good God, 29 points over Denny Hamlin. <laughs> my God. And Shrek's kind of got close. Moved, him, uh, moved himself up to third. Brad dropped down to fourth. Larson in the top ten. Byron outside by one point. And all that good stuff. So... Yeah, now we now we can go now we can feel better after Talladega when I kind of cheesed the win there, dumping Alfredo. <laughs> uh, we gained like those extra five points I didn't need, but it wouldn't have mattered even if we did, got second in that. We still had a big chonker point lead, so it, it's okay. There we go. We got our Monster Energy trophy, and we got Kurt a championship, just like in 2004. Isn't that adorable? I got, I, is this the fire suit? They got the fire suit detail. Like they, that's, oh my god. That's just wild to me. But yeah, we did it. Something that Michael Moobs just, he just couldn't do. Oh my god, a 31-8 on a default setup. Good god. Trex led the most laps. I'm not shocked. But yeah, that's, oh my god. I can't believe we got that lap time. That's, that's close to like a, like a custom setup lap time. And with that concludes our championship mode can't believe it kind of gave now the wire but then it didn't but yeah we we did we don't factor in martinsville i mean every race we've ran inside the top 10 uh new hampshire we won dover we got second barely lost it to austin Dillon. talladega we got the win um kansas we got sixth charlotte we got sixth and martinsville we dnf'd Atlanta, we got fourth, first, then fourth. I don't even know if we would have gotten a top ten. Like, if we had a, if we had a like a, a default setup, probably would have finished maybe inside a top ten, probably like around ninth or so. But definitely would wouldn't have won. But the game dicked me at Martinsville, so I, I I wanted to give it. I wanted to dick it back. But yeah, so I guess that's that's it. I don't know what more to say. Big shout out to my two or three Patreon supporters, the Dale Reynolds, Weather Bros, Kamikaze Games, Ryan Lazar, and Dave in our Champ 15, NASC, Universite.org, Billy Carrier, Golf Kid 100, Denny Hammer, Altafan, Emilio Bebser, Mark Harmon, and Mexican Link 1986 for a donation again. I can't thank you guys enough for your contribution and support the channel every single month like this. It does mean a lot, and it always goes a long way. It's like I always say, it's just, it really does mean a lot, and you guys are always awesome. I'm sorry that there's uh, not nearly as much content or videos out as uh, usual. Just really busy on that uh, Robin video and getting that finished and everything. Once you see uh, when it's done, um, you'll know why it's it's taken so long. <laughs> but thank you for being fans, I guess. <laughs> I'll see you all in uh, whatever video I end up doing. Maybe I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen with the channel in the future or what else I plan. Maybe more live streams, but I really haven't had that that <clears throat> desire to to do that. But yeah, it's 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 something. But um, I don't know. Um, I guess I'll do it for me. So I'll see you all in whatever I make next and all that. So yeah, I'll see you all later. And as always, um, have a good day. But also, thank you for watching this series. I, I appreciate that. So thank you. <laughs> all right, now I'll get going. I'll see you later. Have a good day, everyone.